Once the bullets start flying, it's impossible to remain impartial. Salutations. Stolt here as war correspondent of the great conflict now seizing these lands. While I boast no loyalty to either army, I've endeavored to embed among their ranks to tell you the real story neither government wants you to hear. My first deployment was among the colonial forces defending the Deadlands from warden aggression. Day 1, 1900 hours. It was dusk when I first arrived on the front lines along the Iron Road. The thunder of artillery and crackle of small arms fire wove a haunting discord. A nightmare brought into reality only by the acrid smell of gunpowder and the panicked faces of the boys barely old enough to leave home, let alone die for someone else's. Bolstered by the great cannons, the line lurched forward, hindered only by the occasional warden scout or futile attempt at a counteroffensive. With each foot forward, the men's morale peaked, and the deepening shadows fought with all their strength to quiet the brightening of their faces. Looming in the distance, growing ever closer, the giant snowy hill of Callahan's Gate cut a foreboding silhouette as dusk rolled into darkness. Day 9, 800 hours. There are few animals as dangerous as a lion backed into a corner where once the crisp white snow lay undisturbed upon the crest of Callahan's Gate. Rivers of ruby now run from the bodies of the fallen, stopping only to pool in the snow-crushed tread of colonial boots. Where once they shattered the still of night, the artillery now lay dormant, unmanned, and ready for use against their former masters. In their fervor, the Colonials stormed the incline, unaware of the fresh hell that awaited them at the top. Entrenched machine gun and rifle positions tore swaths into the haggardly advancing ranks. As word reached the front, subterfuge behind friendly lines. It's unclear what actually happened through the conflicting reports but rumors of a series of trucks being destroyed by a uniformed trader were most widespread. What was clear, however, was that the advance was over and the colonies were back on the defensive. Day 33, 2100 hours. Iron's end is lost. The guns that once filled these men's hearts with courage now inspire dread as they toll off in the distance, funeral bells singing a great chorus of despair and loss. The wardens descend on this quiet mountain village, undead, stalking between tree and shadow. The night is theirs, and Iron's end is lost. Day 97 1700 hours. The land surrounding the salt farm is pockmarked, like the broken toothed face of war. Since that night at Iron's End, the colonial forces have been on a near constant retreat, stopping at each village to make a half hearted attempt at resistance, before crumbling and losing their nerve at every junction. It was on this barren, scorched earth that they finally found their backbone. The war-torn landscape provides ample opportunity and reward for guerrilla tactics, taking advantage of the many pits and craters of the north to halt the seemingly unending warden advance. I don't recognize most of the men beside me, and what few I do no longer resemble the boys that were at Callahan's Gate. This is where we make our stand.
because without the soap farm, nothing stands between the enemy and Sun's Hollow, the last colonial foothold of the Deadlands. Day 154, 1200 hours. This may very well be my last entry. The battle for the Deadlands is lost. The Salt Farm and Liberation Point changed hands more than any of us could count over the past 50 days. But now, it's all over. The enemies are at the gates of Sun's Hollow, and we've done all we can do to push them back. The Earth trembles beneath the advance of the Warden's Half-Track Cavalry, and quakes from the mighty exchange of mortar and artillery fire from both sides. What little we have left is expressed in full futility on the front line, trying desperately to cover our retreat from this cursed, blood-slicked land. If I'm lucky, I'll live through this and continue to tell this story of human tragedy and courage in the face of imminent and assured death. I have only one wish of you, future reader. If this is where my story ends, do not believe the propaganda. This war has crippled an entire generation, and it's only just begun. <laughs> if you haven't yet joined the war effort and want to give it a shot, look up Foxhole on Steam or hit the link in the description. It is as if this video is still in a pre-alpha free play period, and it's pretty dang cool in my opinion. I know this is a bit different from my regular content, so please give me some feedback and tell me if I should just stick to the funny stuff. As always, thanks for watching and stick around for more content. Run in fear of my superior firepower! <laughs>